Welcome to the spoken tutorial on safe app instructions for Android phone users. In this tutorial, we will learn about safe app, installation of safe app, taking the health spoken tutorial quizzes on the app. Let us begin. Safe app means smart authenticated fast exams app. On SAFE app, paper-free and cheating-free exams can be conducted. It eliminates the tedious process of manual evaluation. It allows students to take quizzes in the classroom using their smartphones. SAFE app is available for both Android phones and iPhones. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the app on Android phones. Before installing the SAFE app, set your phone language to English. To install this app, go to Google Play Store on your phone. Search for SAFE app. You will see SAFE app logo in the search results. Click on it. Click on the install button. Now, SAFE app is installed on your phone. Next, let us learn how to take the health spoken tutorial quizzes on the app. Open SAFE app. You will see the login page. Your trainer will give you your unique email ID and passcode. For example, email ID would be this. Passcode would be this. Click on the space where email ID is written. Type your email ID. Then click on the space where passcode is written. Type your passcode. Remember your passcode is case sensitive. Please type the capital and small letters in the passcode correctly. After typing your email ID and passcode, click on the Login button. After logging in, you will see the Courses page. Click on the name of the course. For example, here the course name is English HST. You will see the Quizzes page. Your trainer will give you the quiz ID or the name of the quiz. For example, quiz ID is englishhst.jp or quiz name is one practice quiz. You will see a quiz box in which the given quiz ID or quiz name is written. In the bottom right corner of the quiz box, you will see that it is downloaded. Sometimes the quiz may not be downloaded automatically. Then in the top right corner of the quiz box, click on the download button. That button will now change to start. Click on start. You will see a pop-up for permissions. Click on grant all. You may see other pop-ups for permissions. You must give all permissions for safe app to work smoothly on your phone. You may also be asked to give some permissions from your phone's settings page. After giving all the permissions, go back to the safe app. You will see a quiz details pop-up. Your trainer will give you a password for the quiz. Click on the space where password for quiz is written. Type the password for the quiz given by your trainer. Please remember to type the capital and small letters correctly. Click on Start Quiz. You will see the starting quiz page. You will also get a notification of quiz in progress at the top of the page. 
it is to remind you not to leave the app till you submit the quiz. If you leave the app, your instructor will see an OOF flag in your result. OOF is a security flag which means out of focus. It will show in your result if you leave the app for more than 10 seconds. If this flag is in your result, your final marks will be changed to 0. There are other flags that will do the same. L is the location flag. It is for when you take the quiz outside the exam venue. T is the timing flag. It is for when you do not submit the quiz within the submission time period. NS is the number of submissions flag. It is for multiple submissions by the same ID separated by 5 seconds. This means everyone should take the quiz with their own unique ID. Nobody should use your ID to take the quiz. NQ is the number of quiz downloads flag. It is for downloading any quiz more than once. You should download and start the quiz only on the scheduled date and time. PCR is the phone call received flag. It is for receiving a phone call during a quiz. DD is the duplicate device flag. It is for when the same device is used by two different participant IDs. Next, you will see the Navigate to Question page. Click on the first question on this page. You will see Question 1. Questions in the Health Spoken Tutorial quizzes are of only one type. They are all single correct answer type questions. For such questions, select the correct answer from the list of options. To select an option, click on the circle given for that option. After answering the question, click on the tab for the next question. You can go to any question at any time during the quiz. You can also click on the next arrow in the bottom right corner of the page. It will take you to the next question. The previous arrow in the bottom left corner is to go to the previous question. If you select the wrong option, you can change it. You can select the right option by clicking on the circle for the right option. The time left to submit the quiz is shown at the top of the page. If it reaches 0.0, .0 then the quiz will be automatically submitted. Marks for each question are shown in the top right corner of the question. Remember, there are negative marks for each question. Sometimes you may not know the right answer to a question. Therefore, you may not want to answer that question. However, you may have already selected an option for that question. In such cases, you can use the Clear Options button. Click on the circle at the bottom right side of the page. It will give you three options, Calculator, Mark for Review and Clear Options. Click on Clear Options to clear your selection for that question. After answering all the questions, you should submit the quiz. Click on the Submit Quiz button at the top right side of the page. You will see a pop-up asking whether you want to submit the quiz. Click on Yes. You will now see the Quiz Completed page. Here, you should see your submission status as Submitted in green. If you don't see it, please contact your trainer. Click on Back to main screen.
you will now see the courses page again. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining.